Good afternoon, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. So we're going to go over the latest Destiny news for this week. The This Week at Bungie for the 17th of November just hit. So we're going to go through the meat and potatoes. I'm going to throw an image on screen here from Jason responding to Kathayan. Jason is from Kotaku, and he's pretty much dead on with anything he posts, or for the most part, his articles that he writes for Kotaku regarding Destiny. You can see in the image there, he's saying that Destiny 2 is definitely coming to PC. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on that. I don't really have any, guys, to be honest. I don't own a PC personally, so it's not really going to affect me. Just kind of curious as how worse <laughs> the data mining is going to get if Destiny hits PC. I mean, the data miners right now pretty much find out everything as is. I'm wondering, would it get worse if Destiny comes to PC? So the first part of the This Week at Bungie, they talk about the raid along that happened yesterday. I'm going to link the full This Week at Bungie in the description, so make sure you check it out. The archive of the raid along is there. There's some Easter eggs. They show you concept art, and it was pretty cool in case you missed it. Next up, Bungie does address how matchmaking works within Destiny. That's been the latest topic of conversation all over Bungie.net, all over YouTube. I do appreciate the feedback I got on the video I put up yesterday. I try to speak for the average player because that's what I consider myself. You guys know I'm average at best and really good comments. I'm going to leave uh, a link to that in the description. So let's read some of the things that they say. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read this verbatim here. When it comes to matchmaking, here are our design goals. Provide you with a clean connection to your fellow players. Keep the time you spend in orbit between matches to a minimum. Set a match between you and a worthy opponent in that order. That's how it's working right now. Here's how we go about finding you a match. First, we identify a pool of available players with a good connection to you. Within that pool, we choose players closely matched to your personal skill rating. If we can't find players within that pool, we widen the variance in skill. If that does not work, we expand the search again with more variance in connection quality. Once enough players are selected, we break them out into equally skilled teams. Then Deej goes on to say, note, skill is not a factor in Trials of Osiris. You are matched against players with good connections and similar scorecards. Then he goes on to say that that's a gross simplification of some complicated engineering. But to summarize, connection quality is always the highest priority factor in Destiny matchmaking. So why is everyone complaining about lag? It's They're basically saying connection comes first and then it goes to skill. I know I always say that I have it lucky because I'm in New York City, I have a lot of people to connect to, and I tend to get easier lobbies because of my 1.14, well, I, hold on, it went up, 1.16 kill death ratio. So then they go on to actually talk about some questions that they're commonly asked. So um, one question is, why are you teaming me up with weaker teammates? Answer is, we favor connection quality over skill ratings. If we favored skill over connection, you'd be more likely to have people closer to skill level on both teams. If you want better teammates, they're likely waiting for you in our recruitment forums. Then the next question is, why can't you match fire teams against fire teams? If we waited for perfectly weighted teams to find each other, you might spend more time in orbit than in game. Fire teams can do still match up against one another, but fast matchmaking is the priority. The next question is, do you try to force players into a 50% win-loss ratio? Nope. Have we stated your personal performance is a factor in the Guardians you end up confronting in battle, but we do nothing to artificially influence win streaks or alter individual player statistics. Next question, I think it's kind of funny. Why can't I just relax and enjoy some matches with my friends? We introduced private matches into the Crucible with the launch of Destiny Rise of Iron, so you could do just that. Take matchmaking into your own hands and make the Crucible what you want it to be. You know, I saw once, I think it was Derek Carroll, uh, one of the PvP lead designers, someone asked him, uh, why is Crucible so stressful or something to that effect? And he said, or what What can I do because PvP is so stressful right now? And his answer was, I don't know, maybe go play some strikes? Now, that's Derek's demeanor, and that's kind of how Derek like talks, tweets, acts. And he's right. I mean, the Crucible in general is not supposed to be just a relaxing experience. PvE is more of a relaxing experience. Well, aside from the raids sometimes. But you know what I mean, guys. When it comes to trials, when it comes to PvP, I don't go in there to relax. I go in to... I go in there to have fun, but at the same time, I know it's going to be a sweat fest. I know some games are going to be fun. Some games are going to be, oh my god, am I getting teamed up against a party of six again? It's That's the way any multiplayer game is going to be. Or at least that's just my opinion. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. Do you go into the Crucible thinking you're going to have a relaxing time? 
I don't know any multiplayer game where people want to do that. Now, they say the last time they updated the matchmaking settings was in August, and pretty much that's it. They no mention of them making any changes anytime soon. Let's talk about a little bit of a fix they made within the Supremacy variants, like Supremacy Rumble, Inferno Iron Banner, but nothing else. They're saying just, hey, you have some questions or feedback for us? Go to the feedback forums. Nothing's changing right now. So that's it for the meat and potatoes at the end. They kind of talk about that Thanksgiving is next week. So the uh, intelligence reports is going to be random and kind of light for next week. So I'm probably assuming that we're not going to hear anything next week. However, they do say right at the end, this week after, no, the week after, God, I can't read at the end. The week after, we'll be packing our bags for Anaheim, California. The particulars of our mission are still a mystery. We'll cross that finish line soon. If you didn't know, um, PlayStation Experience is being held in Anaheim, California. So... I, who knows what they're going to reveal there? I'm guessing Spar Racing. We haven't heard a thing about Spar Racing. Hopefully, we'll get some news on that at PSX. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do me a favor. Drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream, usually on YouTube. And that is it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.